just real quick chat. Bro, what? People caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Goth Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? <sighs> Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking <laughs> very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... <sighs> Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> See that? God dang it. There we go. Hold it right there! Yeah, got him! So the butler's gone crazy. Are you cowards afraid of an old man? Uh, Just take it easy. <laughs> Hope that vase wasn't worth something. Hold on, Bruce. Uh, I was 
go easy on you. Are you okay? I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. Bruce, Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. All right. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Don't forget, I called dibs on those perks. I've taken them before you watch this place. Gotta say, that planet thing up there is pretty damn cool. If you'd come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the Bat Cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue. Watch yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear. I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to 
get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Penguin's men are in the north wing. I need to go back to the tunnel above the training area. The only way back to the manor is on the elevator by the training area. Sir, before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred! signal from Alfred. I'd better find another way into the library. Oh, <laughs> 
Safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. Please, the crest is blocking the way out. You have to move it so we can escape. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. in the next room. I I think they're going to kill him. isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stolen out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. Shoot, Batman with the comeback. <sighs> Oh, my 
Goes to South Gotham. I hope Penguin's dealer can tell you what this Mr. Freeze has done with our friend. Targeting someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. Two dispatch confirming that code three. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, two. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers, but first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. Oh, the icicles off everything else in the main game, really. I mean, I just might pay attention. Serious. Hey, what if the cop called for backup before Rusty calls him up? That's why you need to shut up and keep your eyes open. Wait, wait, wait. It's him! No way! <laughs> he uses the smoke to get away! Scour this room till we flush him out. Finding Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. 
I won't be able to safely remove them from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Right, let's get it. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. Choose another frozen dude over here. Freeze. You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. I think it's Gothcorp. Dispatch 5-5. Five, five. We got no contact with units on the bridge. Air 3, en route.
You come on it. Sure okay, thing, boss. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. So we have the codes. Shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of share? I, I'm cooperating. I'm cooperating. I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see, and, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plants, tissue research. Yeah, you say. Then you believe me. You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest, why? I just really love my job. Okay. Huh? Oh, I said How are we supposed to find them if we can't find them? <laughs> <laughs>
I saw you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcore. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. Gotta go back. Do what I want it to do. Aren't I hacking these? Why do I need codes? If I need the codes, why do I even use it? I just go up there and type it. Boyle, or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code. Oh, they talk, they turn and I turn. ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I think is the weapons I would promise. 
I had a... I know you're on it! Let's do that real quick. This will not end well for you, Commodore. Ho oh, ho! I think you're confused about what exactly is about to happen here. As soon as you show us that big fish bowl, my boys will blow it open. And as the... to let him go. Press a meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> What's Freeze after? Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Where's that? All right, I guess we gotta go to the exit. Warning! Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Emergency. Propellant research wing compromised. Initiate evacuation procedures immediately. Without the XC suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. It'll stick to you, and next thing you know, it'll be a man's side ice. I said, another way to get across? This place is on us! Shoot. Run! Danger. Critical vehicle. Fucking trap! Healing process. Emergency protocol in you just gotta stay calm and think of something. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought they were swing. What is that? Come cool. You are so dead! Oh, Batman Freeze. Warning. Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Everybody frozen. Emergency. Please engage manual reactor shutdown. You gotta fix it. Why? I'm no cryo engineer, I'm just a guard. Break the bed. You better figure it out. Your friends. He busted the security system on the exit to the I lobby. Can't down. We can escape. No one's escaping till we get the penguins. So I don't care what you are. A guard, an engineer, or a damn snow. Break his face! What <laughs> did you break? Oh, yeah. Cryogenic reactor has failed. Where'd you come from? Don't worry oh, about it's it. incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. So but two dudes left in isn't there. Freeze gonna try to stop you? Yes, with any did. luck. 
Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. Heck I'm yeah, on my way to my alibi really. to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the bad wing drop it there. It's on its way. Incoming, sir. Uh, where did you drop at? Um, well, he said he couldn't drop that because there were dudes here, man. I guess he could have dropped that crap. Alright, suit up. Gloves should help you deal with most ICU encounters, sir. And the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates yeah, against extreme cold without yeah. increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. Dude, it's never gonna be cold again. a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. And I gotta spend the whole year reliving. We got it! security lock. I know what I'm doing, game. I just don't know what's the right one. There we go. Listen, we ain't going her. nowhere until you tell me exactly where to. Yes, bro, we got to be so scared. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Alright, let's go get these parts. 
parts now, I guess. Your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. Shoot, this is a much longer. Right we gotta be out in this stupid, stupid weather. Penguin said to wait for his car. He's setting something up with a buyer. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think freedom. <laughs> you look at everything. And that's me. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me... No. Jim, you're so quivering idiot show you in the light. Yes. That me, uh... Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna try to get one of these. Shut the door. It's gonna be a long night for you. Maybe I'll... Ain't no way I missed. There you go. Are you kidding me? No way. Bacon. One more to go. Alfred, I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting no, no, fluid to parts. operate. Ah, here it is. Yeah, it must an organic something. super coolant used in an experiment. As in. I get XP for that, even though I don't need it. Oh, sweet, I sure do. Oh man, 
I can't grab for nothing. He's about to dive bomb everywhere. We'll tell each other. He's like the He's real, trust me. I've heard stories, and that's exactly what they are. Right, he's back in here with it. Show me more. It was we stuck. We're in for it now. Oh, shoot, we got some. Sega! Okay. Our friend here? Nope. I just gotta be a present duty. I'll need somewhere. to evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown shoot. protocol on this door is disengaged. You know you see I know I see other dudes. Think we're safe, so long as that cryo tank keeps pumping out babies. He can't get in here with all that uh, cryo vapor, right? Shape! He can't get through that vapor while there's still power to the tank. Shake the way. Wow, this is not right where I'm supposed to go. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged batarang. You're the Batman. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryo vapor. Danger. Cryogenic reactor breach. Please evacuate. Wait a minute, what the heck? Dang, it's so bright down here. The heck am I supposed to? I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryo vapor. We gotta go in this room. I hope the cryo vapor kills that bat. Kill that 
son of a bitch. There we go. Got the first switch. What's he doing? We got a plan beyond the usual. Shoot him to hell. The lad's still full of cryo paper and the fans ain't working. I think. I did too. Cryogenics. Yep. Now's our chance. Get in there. I'm blown the hell. Yeah, probably knew it's time to go. A thermocharged batarang wow, could break up the ice there. encasing that vantage. Spread out. There we go. Oh shoot, get him. Gonna think up a guard position. Make me sit. Oh, there's no way. Look out. I don't know how trying to go. Help me out here. This guy got his ass kicked. Finally, be like ten in here, and then ten more victims outside. I guess he's not frozen to death. Uh, I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, what? Am I supposed to go this way? Nine. The freeze took out the penguin, and it looks like he drove off the bat. Maybe this freeze guy's a better bet for us. Hey, I'm just saying. Never hurts to keep our options open. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's the worst. Oh, 
I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. going on here than a simple accident. Shoot. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. here. Okay, I should scan for more evidence. There we go. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. I oh, watched him die. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. I bet you that's I think it's on the table. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. Let's get him next. Yep. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. That is, that is not play how I thought it did. So he had the weapon, I'm pretty sure. There we go. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Ah, oh, shoot. All coming together. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was 
Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm gonna do? When I get out of here, I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot. It's gonna take forever to get to that. I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Are you You hear me? Right, can I use the drip? There we go. Let's be reasonable. You're not gonna let me die, boy. Are you? You're not gonna die. Batman wouldn't let you die. Hello? Oh, the wrong blade. Come on, Batman. Uh, you got a price, yeah? <laughs> Name it. It's yours. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? 
Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Is the end already? Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Ah! My wife will have... Oh, ain't nobody shooting these. Not you, not Royal, not anyone will stop me from finding it. I'm dead. No! He's right there. Oh, I'm so dead. I know you're up there. Hey! He's in the upper. Please go somewhere else. Thank you. Containment breach in flight. Hey, 
Thank you. At least I'm gonna get some health back. Let's see how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. Alright, those henchmen should definitely be froze. I got you. Got you. No, leave me alone. I got more health. How are they not? How are they not dead? What the heck? Do not disappoint. I'll fuck you in. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Search the 
Oh, of course. Huh? Oh, it's right on him. My suit is resilient, Batman. I swear I had that thermal crap on. They can see How did he escape? I can't do a silent takedown. This ain't Arkham City. Search the area. He's froze. Right here. Damn! Yeah. 
Hey, good. You guys see anything? Get underneath him. I can take him from below. Containment failure in capsule one. Prime subject number three in danger. Just kill him. I'm underneath him. Just kill him. Him and the bat. Cryogenic containment failure. Prime Not subject. Enough. Almost got you. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting, Batman. But you shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass no. the fire. Oh, Victor! She died! But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! Go! Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, that was nice and short. That didn't take too long. Is there any end credit scenes or whatever? Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done. Well, there's some side stuff, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all for tuning in to this little DLC. This is a short little stream, man. I enjoyed it. Um, we'll be playing some more Outlast pretty soon. I just need a little break from that game because it is scary. But until the next stream, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.